Well, I'm Jake here with a video to show you how to take this uh, old Busby Predator that, well, barely even fires modern darts due to the horrible dart tooth. And when you do actually get it to feed and fire one, it does so terribly. That's, that is 46 feet per second. But instead, I want to show you how to take it to something more along the lines like... modern performance while giving it a nice hydro dip look so here we go now with the blaster apart i'm going to showcase what i've done to get the performance and it will fire various darts like the the 70 or so feet per second there was or 72 point something was a nerf elite now with busby's long distance starts and precise pros it gets a little bit better performance because the nerf elites are pretty terrible but they fire out of the old dart post and that's the equivalent for showing you the performance improvement going from 40s and 50s is what range the old predator will get going from that up to 70s and 80s is a nice 30 foot foot per second jump and it takes it from being underpowered to usable now this one here i've modified a few predators and this one here i have double sprung and what that is is your standard busby predator spring didn't take it off or anything because you have to press this out and sometimes pressing this pin out breaks or cracks the uh two-piece priming bar there and I don't want to risk that so I do not recommend prying that apart I'll show you there see that is a pin let the camera come on in here there we go autofocus sometimes a little finicky on this one but right here that is a pin that holds and also acts as a hinge and I would not ever take that out because I have damaged the priming rod right there by doing so. Instead, what I've actually thrown on there is a stock retaliator spring. So it's not, not a very powerful spring. I think those only rate out to be like a two and a half, a two or two and a half kilogram spring. So by doing that, it's just giving it a little boost. And I did cut down the retaliator spring because retaliator springs are actually a little longer than predator springs. And I do believe this one came out of one of my recon mark twos. And what I did, what I did was I cut it down to be a little shorter than the Predator spring. That way I don't stress the uh, the spring rests in the shell. And as you'll see, I actually added a reinforcement because this spring rest in the shell was already starting to show signs of fatigue and even broke off. So what you see here, let's zoom in. There we go. Is I had to repair this spring rest. And I added, what that is, is a chunk of a Busby lock that I've removed from one of the revolutions I'm working on. And I actually have just simply glued it in on the backside. This one never takes the abuse that this top one takes. And it is a design flaw in these old Predators. The uh, spring rests here are only on this side of the shell. They don't actually interlock into anything on this side. As you can see, the spring rests are right ahead of this is a channel that runs here below the trigger that channel is to guide the uh, priming bars well here's the channel on the other side and as you see there's just an empty void here what would be really good is if they made an interlocking spring rest so that when you put the shell back together that it uh like say hooked into the back side of this to offer more support so as is, you may have to do this exact kind of spring rest repair that I've done. I've had to do that to a couple of predators. It, it just happens. And that or the pivot for the catch. That's the two things you might end up repairing on old thrifted predators. Now, I haven't shown you this yet. And as you can see, I have been firing. My paint job didn't hold up there. That's something I'll have to just touch up as I use it or live with it. It's inside the breech, so I don't really care that much. But the other thing I have done is I have brassed down inside of the breech. 
that is a section of 17 30 seconds brass that runs all the way back to where we have a inlet this this when the predator primes all the way that actually lines up and yes you do have a tube from the back of the plunger tube which faces to the forward of the blaster runs all the way back to here and that port lines up with a hole let's go inside there there we go you can see the hole inside of this ring lines up with that port and no I didn't spray anywhere around here I actually threw some grease on this area and wiped it back off because this area is not seen the only thing that's really seen is back here and I have given that kind of a rough matte look intentionally and it'll wear but most most of what you're gonna see is of course the bolt itself and this back section and that's got a good good uh, paint job on it so I'm going to throw this back together and let you see the final product. And now you guys actually get to see the blaster put back together. Now, this right here is a nice, neat camouflage hydro dip swirl. And I have blackened out the little dart storage, the little bottom catch, and... I have grayed the barrel out with a slate gray, which is very close to the gunmetal gray, but I did leave the tip completely orange. So we've went from the old Busby Predator, which I have right here. We went from old Busby Predator firing in the 40s and 50s to the the modified Busby Predator firing in the 70s and 80s with a very neat paint job. And it doesn't take hardly any work to do this. Uh, mainly the, the work that you're going to have involved is if it needs a repair. As I've showcased before, I had a repair video on actually this Predator where it had the catch post needed fixed and also that spring rest that's the two things to look for and the main work you'll have to do to the blaster is the breech it does absolutely have to have the breech work done that is a requirement and that's due to the horrible horrible dart post that is down in there as you can see that hook dart post that's it it won't fire most modern darts it fires nerfy leads and x shot darts Otherwise, it won't fire most of the rest of the darts that are out there on the market currently. Uh, but this now will fire every dart, and it'll fire Nerf Elites, which it gets okay performance with, a little bit better performance with the X-Shot darts, a little bit better performance with the long-distance darts and Precise Pros from Busby. And it also does decently well with aftermarket waffle tips and AccuStrike copies. But it's usable. You know, I could actually take that to a war here when they're allowed again. And I could actually get some tags with that. This one, <laughs> I mean, you could. You could try. You'd probably be better off to try to find some off-brand suction cup darts. But hopefully everybody likes this in the spirit of kind of fall, winter hunting season. There you go. Bolt action rifle with a, with a scope. And... It does still have the orange tip. For those of you who are really stuck on that, for safety purposes, but I absolutely love that Hydro Dip Swirl. That camouflage turned out great, and I would actually do that on other things besides blasters, like maybe mountain bike frames, because that was that looks cool. But enough, enough with me going on. This is a modification to not only improve the performance but also the look of the classic busby predator bolt action rifle i think it turned out well and i will actually probably throw this in some with some blasters and take it to a war and give it a try but i hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching